Hey everybody, it's a beautiful day and we say hey. What's up guys, today we are making goldfish mozzarella sticks. And I'm going to be behind the camera while this one makes his culinary delights. They're, they're delicious. They are. Yes. So this is how we start. That's uh, two eggs and a quarter cup milk, a whisk as much as you can, with any amount of flour as much as you're making. This bowl will be for the upcoming breading, which is goldfish, and I'll get to that in a moment. So first you want to start with a nice sharp knife, and you get a block of mozzarella. That's a 16 ounce block, right? 16 ounce block, yes. What I like to do is cut like this. Do that, and you want to cut that in three. And that gives you the the perfect little mozzarella stick to you know start breading. Just for the record, folks, this does not have to be perfect. This is whatever size seems right. Yeah, you can also make skinnier ones, smaller ones, even fatter ones if you want a lot of cheese. I mean, I like extra cheese, so I like the yeah, big joints. Sounds addicted to cheese. You know it. I love cheese. Here we have goldfish. My two flavors of choice would be the extreme cheddar and explosive pizza, I think it's called. Um, and then I also added some uh, Italian breading in it, Parmesan cheese, and a few spices that I like to, like to use in everything pretty much. So I'm gonna put that aside and take the mozzarella sticks, put them in a bowl can wrap up the remaining ounces or do it what you'd like, whatever you'd like. This is perfect for parties, so if you wanted to use that other eight ounces, you could just make it as well as the first eight now, ounces. Now what I'm probably going to do is just make them all and then freeze them all, but I'm going to do this for now so we can get on with the video. So we want to spread these out. Make sure you zip that, it'd be easier. Banks, we're filming. Stop, Banks, we're filming. No, quit it. That's my Banks dad, my Banksy kitty. All right, so what's our next step, Chef? So, the bag of goldfish with some Italian breading. Like I said, you wanna close that and spread it out. Now, I've used other things. I don't have one of those pin rollers with me right now, so it's easier to just take a plate. And just smash them. And when you do this, make sure it's super fine because that'll yes. help with the breading process. Very fine. It might take a little bit, might take a little strength. Maybe two people want to do it if someone's not strong enough, but it's got to be done very finely or it won't work out as well. And if you have a super heavy duty bag like the one we have it well, in. I haven't used this. Oh, that could work. Yeah, a little meat tenderizer could also work for this. Just make sure you have a heavy duty plastic bag so it doesn't break or tear. And we magically found a rolling pin. Yay! <laughs> Doing that. Rolling. So this is about the consistency you want it to be. Pretty much almost like powder. Works best this way. Mm -hmm. so, I don't need this cutting board right now. Now I also used half a bag of each flavor and just a little bit of uh, Italian breading and two spices. Uh, could have been broken up more, but that's okay. <laughs> Thanks, Evan. You're welcome. Jerk. Okay, now you need a pan like this, so nothing will stick to it. So what you're gonna do first is dab that in this. Basically like you're making fried chicken. Pretty much that.
Don't get it too messy, because then half of it gets all gross, you know. So. And what's the trick to this, Chef? What, double dipping? Yep. So you want to do it again without the flour. This time, just the egg and just the bread. Now later, we're going to do it again. I like to triple bread it. It makes it extra crispy. Get a nice thick layer of the breading. It also makes sure that the cheese doesn't leak while you're frying it. Oh, yes. And we just put that right there. And how many should this yield? About? Uh, Depend well, average size, I guess. I mean, if you use half the block, nine. About 18, 20, if you use the whole block. Okay. Of, uh, what was it, 16 ounce? Yep. And this should be your second step final process. There's... I like to say, I guess, four steps in this. But this is a uh, double breaded. Um, and now it's going to be frozen. For how long? An hour. What I do is like 40 minutes, I freeze it, then I triple coat it and do it in for like another 20 minutes. And they're ready to go. Alright, so let's pop them in the freezer. <laughs> a pain in the ass there, isn't it? It's so disproportionate. Oh, that there actually worked. Alright. Mm. Yummy. So we have the oil, vegetable oil, heated to about medium. Five to six on a typical stove. It's a small pan, so uh, you don't have to use them more than needed. And you just drop in two to three, depending on how big they are. And just let them dry up. So, tongs work best, obviously. I mean, and you can either get a bowl, <coughs> a pan, or anything, any strainer, or even paper towel in here. And when you pull them out, you put them in there so that way the grease just isn't all over the mozzarella stick. So then you cover it with a, a plate, keeps it you know, nice and hot. And we do these until they're roughly golden brown. Yes, perfect, right before the cheese explodes out. And also, if you find that they're not cooking quickly enough, you can up the heat just a little bit. I like mine slow cooked. I like mine slow cooked. Okay, so they're just about done. You can see the cheese coming out. That one must have had a little hole in it or something because it's coming out before the other ones. So I'm going to take that out first. Drip off. But bear in mind, if you want to use the bigger pan and waste more oil, then you can do more than 30, but I like doing it this way. And you just keep repeating. Also, just watch, because sometimes the oil can bubble over from the flour egg mixture. So just watch your bubbles. Always wash those bubbles. Wash those bubbles. And here is your finishing product. There you go, right in the light. It's nice. And open it. And, oh, oh my oh, god. It's so yummy. Uh, Just I don't burn yourself. A little too hot to eat. They're just super delicious, a great snack, and fun for family night, game night, any occasion. Yes. And oh. this is our final product. Literally Obviously yeah. delicious, perfectly made, breading is amazing. Like I said, culinary Again, I can break into it. Oh my god. And you just see how yummy that is. You make the perfect mozzarella stick stubs. And now I'm making my secret sauce, but 
We you, can't. We you, can't you, tell them that. Maybe they can comment. If you want to know, I'll let you know. Oh, okay. So you're gonna tell them, but you won't tell me. So, that's it of our cooking session today. Peace out, Girl Scout. Peace out, Girl Scout.